It's getting to be that time to think about fall and winter, and what better place to talk about containers than Little Baja. Hi, Wayne. Good morning. We're at the Burnside um, Little Baja, but we want to talk about Mexican pottery and containers themselves going into fall, winter, and you have some great shards here to talk about just exactly that clay for Mexican pottery. Well, this just shows that Mexican pottery is uh, made out of earth. That's what uh, terracotta earthenware, baked earth and that it is uh, recyclable and goes back into the ground uh, after it's usable. You can break it up and use it for a variety of things. And uh, it, plants like it because it is porous. It is a natural, uh, a, a natural product and they can grow right into it and they can draw oxygen right through the sides. So that's not really the that is main thing, but that's also drainage at the whole part where it drains out the bottom so you don't want it to fill up with water. One inherent thing that all planters have is that they need water, the plants need water, so therefore uh, they may fill up with water. And you got to make sure they have good drainage, especially in the wintertime. And the wintertime, you want to make sure that they have something underneath them, like maybe one of these commercial products, like a little planter ring, or you might even go ahead and use one of these uh, uh, pottery feet, uh, like underneath these uh, Chinese planter, or little gravel. You can use block or brick or any or sticks or anything that you want to raise the uh, the planter off the ground to help improve the drainage. Right, because if it's filling up with water, then the ice becomes a problem. Well, when it starts freezing, uh, usually right around uh, Halloween, when it starts freezing here in the Portland area, you want to make sure that uh, the planter has good drainage flow. If you go and you put your planter in something like a saucer here, in the summertime, you want to have the retain. Uh, you want the planter to retain a lot of moisture because it's really hot out. You might put it in a saucer. But the problem with the saucer is, is that, of course, is that it does retain water, and when it freezes, it could break out. So one of the things you want to do is if your planter is in a saucer, regardless of what kind of planter it is, you want to probably should get it out of the saucer. If it's too big to lift, uh, for two people to grab a hold of it and lift out with the plant and the dirt in it, you probably shouldn't put it in a saucer in the first place unless you have it on wheels where you can move it. You know, Another problem with uh, uh, planters is if you just set them directly on the deck themselves, you'll see that once they, uh, uh, once they start retaining water, they, they keep your deck wet and oh, then I the see. deck starts to rot. And, what, and also they'll build up a little dirt underneath the planter here like this. So the best thing to do is to have them up off the ground and then you'll notice that when you turn them that the water runs out. So you want to make sure that they're not sitting directly on the deck or sitting in the grass or lawn where they're going to plug up and then start filling up with water. And that's for the health of the plant and the pot so that you and don't bust out the pot or damage the roots of the plant. And you don't want your plant to drown. Um, also, you have this great product to protect the outside of any kind of masonry, so either a pot or statue or bird bath. Right. Uh, bottled here locally, this is a non-toxic top seal that you can put onto all pottery or statuary or concrete, bird baths, whatever, and it won't get back into the water and kill the plants. And it, is, uh, does, it doesn't leave a shine or a film, so you don't know it's on there. And when it rains, it won't leave a streak of oil running down your driveway or get back into the, the dirt and kill the plant. So it's just another way to protect those pots. It is a very good product. So if we have any questions, we can come out to Little Baja and talk mm -hmm. to you and your staff. Um, there's also a website. Uh, Little-Baja.com. Don't forget the dash. All right. So, well, thank you so much. If you do have any questions, come out and talk to Wayne and get ready for the fall-winter.